Forget Thanos, forget Darth Vader, this guy conquered half the known world by the age of 32. I'm your host, Stephanie, and today we're diving into the life and legend of Alexander the Great. The warrior king who rewrote history tamed a wild stallion named Bucephalus. and partied so hard he might have died from a hangover. Raise an eyebrow playfully. But Alexander's story isn't just about epic battles and toppled kingdoms. We're talking secret tunnels, jealous friends trying to poison him. and even a possible alien encounter. So buckle up, history buffs and curious minds, because we're about to embark on a journey across continents. Witness mind-blowing military tactics and unravel the mysteries that still shroud this legend. Did he really cry when he realized there were no more worlds to conquer? Was he secretly bisexual? And what's the deal with that whole sleeping in a golden coffin thing? This isn't just history, folks. This is Game of Thrones on steroids with a dash of Indiana Jones. and a whole lot of unanswered questions. So hit that subscribe button, grab your helmet, and let's conquer YouTube together.
The making of a legend. Let's rewind to ancient Greece. Imagine you're a young prince tutored by Aristotle himself. Your dad's the king, but also a bit of a jerk. You have a fiery personality and a thirst for adventure that could fill the Aegean Sea. That's Alexander in a nutshell. Alexander's dad, Philip II, was a brilliant military strategist who united most of Greece. But when he was assassinated, the 18-year-old Alexander had to step up. And step up he did, crushing rebellions, defeating the mighty Persian Empire. And carving out an empire that stretched from Greece to India. Military genius. Now, Alexander wasn't just a lucky dude with a fancy sword. He was a military mastermind. His phalanx formation. A wall of spearmen marching in perfect unison was practically unstoppable. He used cunning tactics like flanking maneuvers and feigned retreats. to outsmart his enemies.
and he wasn't afraid to get into the thick of the action himself. Leading from the front and inspiring his troops. But Alexander wasn't just about brute force. He understood the importance of logistics, keeping his army well supplied and motivated. He even adopted some Persian customs and married local women. trying to bridge the gap between conqueror and conquered. Beyond the battlefield. But Alexander wasn't just a war machine. He was also a curious explorer founding cities like Alexandria in Egypt. that became centers of learning and culture. He was fascinated by different religions and philosophies. and his conquests helped spread Greek ideas throughout the world. The Man Behind the Mask Of course, Alexander wasn't a perfect hero. He could be ruthless and impulsive, ordering the massacre of civilians and burning down cities. He also loved to party, and some historians believe his death at the young age of 32. Might have been caused by heavy drinking.
The mysteries remain. And then there are the mysteries. Did Alexander really weep when he realized there were no more worlds to conquer? Was he bisexual, as some scholars believe? And why did he sleep in a golden coffin shaped like a horse? These questions continue to intrigue historians and inspire writers and artists to this day. Funny fact time. Speaking of horses, did you know Alexander had a special bond with a wild stallion named Bucephalus? This horse was so fierce that no one could tame him, except for 12-year-old Alexander. Legend has it that Alexander saw Bucephalus's reflection in a puddle and realized the horse was afraid of his own shadow. So, Alexander cleverly turned the horse towards the sun, calming him down and winning his trust. From then on, Bucephalus was Alexander's loyal companion, even carrying him into battle. So there you have it, folks. Alexander the Great. From tactical genius to reckless ambition, Buckle up for a no-holds-barred examination of Alexander's conquests. Map of Alexander's Empire Let's rewind to 386 BC.
A 20-year-old Alexander inherits a fractured Greece. But unlike most heirs, he unites it, wielding cunning political maneuvers and ruthless... ...force. Then his eyes turn east towards the mighty Persian Empire, The whispers of the past echo through time, encoded in parchments, monuments, and forgotten battlefields. But to truly hear their symphony, we must become Archaeologists of history digging deep into the details. Battle of Granicus, 354 BC. First strike, Granicus River, 384 BC. Alexander, outnumbered, charges headfirst, spears piercing through Persian ranks. Victory secured, he establishes his reputation as a fearless leader. A historian dissects dates not as mere numbers, but as turning points in the human narrative. Each battle becomes a ballet of strategy, valor, and chance. Gagamela 331 BC wasn't just a clash of armies. It was a moment when empires hung in the balance, where Alexander's audacious gamble shattered Darius's vast host. Examining troop formations, terrain analysis, and eyewitness accounts, we reconstruct the clash, not just on a map, but in our minds. Battle of Issus 33 BC. Onward to Issus, 333 BC. Darius III, the Persian king, awaits. Alexander deploys his famed phalanx formation, an impregnable wall of spears. Persian cavalry falters, Darius flees, and the empire's heart lies open. But history isn't just fought on battlefields. It's whispered in the marketplace debates, scribbled on Ostraca, pottery shards used for voting.
and sung in ballads passed down through generations. Understanding Alexander Requires immersing ourselves in the tapestry of Greek society. Delving into their anxieties, philosophies, and the shifting political landscape that propelled him to power. Siege of Tyre, 382 BC. But glory doesn't come easy. Tyre, a defiant island city, resists for seven months. Alexander builds an earth causeway, rain batters his men, and doubt festers. His ingenuity shines, rams breach the walls, tire falls, and a dark side emerges. Brutal massacres and enslavement. Words on parchment, though faded, offer windows into minds long gone. Each inscription, each cryptic decree, holds the potential to unlock a new understanding. Of Alexander's motivations, his fears, and his dreams, Through careful analysis, we decipher not just literal meaning, but the subtext. The emotional currents that swirled beneath the surface of events. Battle of Gaugamela, 31 BC. The Climactic Clash, Gagamela, 331 BC. Darius marshals a vast army, elephants. Charge, the ground trembles. Alexander risks everything, leading a daring cavalry charge that shatters the Persian flanks. Darius flees again, his empire crumbles. Artifacts, silent witnesses to the past, offer tangible connections to the lives of those who came before. A dented helmet speaks of the ferocity of battle, a delicate earring whispers of a loved one left behind.
Each object, when scrutinized by a historian's eye, becomes a key, unlocking fragments of a forgotten world. From Babylon to India, 333 BC. Babylon welcomes Alexander as a liberator while Egypt embraces him as a pharaoh. He pushes east through Sogdia and Bactria facing fierce resistance and logistical nightmares. In India, at the Hydaspes River in 326 BC, he faces his final major battle, defeats King. Porus, but his troops, weary and homesick, refuse to go further. As we delve deeper, the mosaic of history comes into focus. Alexander. The conquering hero becomes a complex figure, woven from ambition, ruthlessness, and a thirst for knowledge. His conquests, not just feats of military prowess, but encounters with diverse cultures and philosophies that reshaped the ancient world. Alexander's legacy. At 32, Alexander returns to Babylon a broken conqueror. His dream of reaching the world's edge unfulfilled. He succumbs to fever in 323 BC, leaving behind a legacy of unrivaled conquest. But also unanswered questions. Did he weep for more worlds? Was he poisoned? The whisper of the past grows louder, its symphony richer with each detail unearthed. For a historian, it's not just about uncovering facts. It's about breathing life into the forgotten, reminding us that the echoes of the past resonate in the present, shaping who we are and the world we inhabit. This is just a suggestion, but you can adapt it to fit your specific historical subject. Or theme. Remember to personalize it with your own voice and passion for the past.
the historian's perspective. Alexander wasn't just a battlefield champion. He spread Greek culture, founded cities like Alexandria. And fostered learning. But he was also a ruthless opportunist. Leaving a trail of bloodshed and cultural destruction. Understanding him requires... Nuance, not hero worship. Alexander the Great, his life a tapestry woven with brilliance, brutality, and endless fascination. As historians, we continue to grapple with his complexities, reminding us that even Amidst myths and legends, humanity's triumphs and failings reside. So what do you think of Alexander? Hero or villain? Comment below and let's discuss. And don't forget to subscribe for more historical deep dives. I hope this inspires you to create an engaging and informative video about Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great, a life beyond battlefields. Ah, the women in Alexander the Great's life, often cast under the shadow of his... ...conquests, their stories offer a fascinating glimpse into the complex tapestry of ancient society. But remember, our lens is limited by the time period and surviving sources which were primarily written by men. So let's explore what we know with both curiosity and critical thinking. Olympia's the fiery mother, Alexander's mother was no shrinking violet, A priestess and rumored descendant of Achilles, she wielded considerable political influence and instilled in her son a fierce ambition. Some historians even suggest she might have played a pivotal role in Alexander's early military campaigns. Roxane, the captured wife. During his conquests, Alexander encountered Roxanne, a Bactrian princess.
He married her for political reasons, but their relationship seems to have grown into genuine affection. Unlike other conquered women, Roxanne held a unique position of respect and influence, even accompanying him on campaigns. The Other Women Alexander's life wasn't without its share of romantic entanglements, both before and after Roxanne. Statira, wife of Darius III, was captured alongside the Persian king. While initially treated honorably, her fate remains unclear. Other women, like Barsine, Darius's daughter, became political pawns in Alexander's complex web of alliances. Beyond wives and mothers, it's important to remember that women weren't just passive players in Alexander's story. They served as priestesses, advisors, artisans, and even soldiers. Women like Hypatia, a skilled mathematician and astronomer, flourished in the intellectual milieu fostered by Alexander's conquests. Challenges and controversies. Sadly, women also faced the harsh realities of ancient warfare. The spoils of war often meant violence and enslavement for conquered women, Alexander, despite his progressive tendencies, wasn't immune to these practices. His legacy remains a tangled ball of both advancement and oppression for women. As a history teacher, my goal is to present historical figures in all their complexity acknowledging both their accomplishments and shortcomings. Alexander's story is certainly rich in the contributions and experiences of women, even if those voices are often muffled by the sands of time. By critically examining their roles, we gain a deeper understanding of his reign and the society he shaped. Remember, these are just some perspectives. Encourage your students to research further, question the narratives, and engage in thoughtful discussions about the women in Alexander's life. And the broader role of women in ancient society, Let their curiosity guide their exploration of the past. As a history teacher, exploring sensitive topics like sexuality in ancient times requires a careful and nuanced approach. While certain inferences can be drawn from existing sources, we must acknowledge the limitations of our knowledge and approach the subject with respect and inclusivity. In the case of Alexander the Great, there are some historical hints that point towards the possibility of same-sex relationships. These include Ancient accounts, 
Some contemporary writers like Plutarch and Athenaeus alluded to Alexander's close relationships. with certain male companions, particularly Hephaestion. While these texts could be interpreted as merely describing strong friendships, they do raise questions about the nature of their bond. Social context, ancient Macedonian society had a more fluid conception of sexuality compared to present-day norms. Homosexuality was not necessarily condemned and same-sex relationships were documented in various forms. Art and Literature Artistic representations depicting male intimacy exist from the period, though their interpretation remains open to debate. Some scholars argue that they reflect broader cultural acceptance of non-heterosexual relationships. However, it's important to remember that Evidence is scarce. Our primary sources are biased towards the dominant perspective of the time, with limited first-hand accounts of same-sex relationships. Attributing modern labels like bisexual to ancient figures risks anachronism and oversimplification. Interpretation is subjective. Different scholars draw varying conclusions from the available evidence. Making absolute pronouncements about Alexander's sexuality impossible. It's important to avoid imposing contemporary expectations on historical figures. Therefore, as a history teacher, I would approach this topic by presenting the evidence, explain the historical context and discuss the limited sources that hint at same-sex relationships in Alexander's life. Encouraging critical thinking. Guide students to analyze the evidence objectively considering different interpretations and the challenges of historical inquiry. Promoting inclusivity, emphasize respect for diverse identities and viewpoints while acknowledging the limitations of our knowledge about sexuality in ancient times. Remember, our goal as educators is to empower students to explore the past with an open mind and critical thinking skills. By navigating sensitive topics like this with care and responsibility, we can foster a deeper understanding of historical contexts and the diverse lived experiences of those who came before us. In conclusion, the life of Alexander the Great 356-323 BCE was marked by extraordinary achievements and significant historical moments. Here are some of the most relevant aspects of his life. Early life and education. Born in Pella, Macedonia in 356 BCE, Alexander was the son of King Philip II and Queen Olympias. He received an education from the philosopher Aristotle, 
which greatly influenced his intellectual and military development. Military Campaigns Alexander's military prowess became evident during his conquests, starting with his role in his father's campaigns. However, his own military career truly began after Philip II's assassination in 336 BCE. Conquest of Persia One of the most significant moments was the Battle of Isis in 333 BCE where Alexander defeated the Persian king, Darius III. This victory led to the fall of the Achaemenid Persian Empire and marked the beginning of Alexander's control over Asia Minor. Siege of Tyre and Egypt In 332 BCE, Alexander successfully besieged the island city of Tyre and then marched into Egypt. Where he was welcomed as a liberator. The foundation of the city of Alexandria in Egypt further solidified his influence in the region. Expedition into India Alexander's military campaigns extended into the Indian subcontinent. His encounters with Porus and the Battle of Hydaspes in 326 BCE highlighted his tactical brilliance. But his exhausted troops eventually led to a reluctant return to Babylon. Death and Legacy Alexander's sudden death in 323 BCE, possibly due to illness or poisoning, occurred in Babylon. He left behind a vast empire that stretched from Greece to Egypt and the Indus River. The division of his empire among his generals, known as the Diadochi, led to the Hellenistic period. Cultural Impact, Hellenistic Era Alexander's conquests had a profound impact on the blending of Greek and Eastern cultures. This Hellenistic influence persisted for centuries, shaping art, literature, and philosophy. Macedonian Empire Although short-lived, Alexander's empire laid the foundation for the spread of Hellenistic, culture and facilitated trade and cultural exchanges between East and West.
key moments to remember. On 336 BC, ascends the throne of Macedon after his father's assassination. One, 334 BC, Granicus River victory marks the beginning of his Persian campaign. One, 333 BC, Battle of Issus defeats Darius III, opening the heart of the Persian Empire. One, 332 BC, Siege of Tyre demonstrates his determination and engineering prowess. 31 BC, Gagamela ends Darius's rule and cements Alexander's dominance. 1326 BC, Battle of Hydaspes in India marks the farthest point of his conquests. 1, 323 BC, dies in Babylon at the age of 32, leaving behind an empire on the brink of fragmentation. 1, in summary, Alexander's story is much more than just a string of battles. It's a testament to human ambition, the resilience of culture, and the complexities of power and legacy. As we continue to study his life and conquests, we ask ourselves, was he a hero or a conqueror, a visionary or a destroyer? Ultimately, Alexander the Great remains an enigmatic figure urging us to grapple with the messy narratives of history and the enduring legacy of ancient empires.